Hi, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. What I wanted to talk to, to you today about is uh, essentially the power of creativity. And I'd like to talk to you about Snoopy and Disney and two specific people, one of whom I have had the pleasure of meeting, the other I did not. So Charles Schultz and Duncan Wardle. When I went to a conference recently, Duncan was a keynote speaker and was up on stage. He's an incredible presenter. He's dynamic. He owns the stage. He's got his face, hands, everything's going. And he's using a little piece of paper on a stand in which he's got cartoons that are representing the core concepts. And he's using the cartoons as a visual. One of the things about your presentations, I was literally just on a phone call like a minute and a half ago with my friend Nedra, who was calling up and saying, okay, I, I need to make a presentation. And I just Googled how many slides I should have. And my response was, oh, dear God, stop. That's how you get death by PowerPoint. Duncan's visuals are very powerful and dynamic because they fit his speech. They fit his personality. They completely add to the message. If he was not on the stage, that display wouldn't make as much sense. If your slides make sense without you, why are you there? Seriously, if you have to say exactly certain things no matter what, and it doesn't impact from the audience, it's not a dynamic performance, make a video. If your slides do all the work for you, what's the purpose of having you? Those are kind of the core concepts I wanna hit on today because we overthink the slides, okay? You don't, slides are fine. You can have them or not have them. The deal is if you're speaking and presenting, you have to be able to do it without them. You have to be able to do it. If the slide deck suddenly implodes, you need to be able to keep going, okay? But your slides should just be reinforcing your message. You are the performance. You are the speech. So behind you should be some key imagery, maybe a couple of words, maybe a couple of highlights of what you're talking about. But if you're putting your entire speech up there, honestly, sit on a chair and you know play solitaire on your phone or something, because you could just click through the slide deck and people could read it and you get more death by PowerPoint that way. So please, when you're doing your decks, your decks are an assistant to you. You are the performance, you are the speech. And that also means that you are more than just the words, your face, your hands, your body, the energy you give, the practice that you have in stopping, and starting, all of that performance level work is part of your message and it needs to be practiced. And that's how we get to Charles Schultz. I was talking with Kelly, uh, who works with me today, about the fact that I'm doing something that I just, I hate doing it and I want to get to step 12. I don't want to do all the steps in between. I want to be there. And that's not how life works. And I need to do step one and kind of suck at it, and then step two, and suck slightly less, and keep getting there. I need to keep practicing. And I couldn't get over it and stop being crabby about it until I realized that I need to think of it like Charles Schultz's drawing diaries. Charles Schultz, the creator of Snoopy, had these amazing diaries that he used that he would sketch one tiny perfect little cup and then he'd do it again and again and again and again and then he'd draw a perfect little book and he made sure that he kept repeating it because he was trying to build in the mumble me mess ooh english <laughs> muscle memory for the end he was trying to achieve but he had to practice to get there and he had to keep practicing the same thing even though it wasn't exciting it wasn't dynamic. He didn't suddenly make the cup into something else. It was exactly the same thing. So my needing to get to step 12, 
I need to walk those steps. I need to do those individual drawings. And in order to get your presentation and your speech to where you want it to be, you're going to need to do that too. So the practice is more than just your voice. It is also your face. It is also your body and your visuals and your visuals matter. Please go to Duncan's page on LinkedIn and look at any of his performances and you will see impeccable stagecraft, but also look at the visuals and look at how they add to the message. But if he wasn't there, it wouldn't have the same context. That's what you need in your decks if you're going to use them. That's the message for today. I hope that works for everybody. Please put comments and let me know what you think. I would really appreciate if in the comments uh, you shared with me your favorite death by PowerPoint story, because I know you have one. And also, I'm the coach that does this. Like, this is my gig. There's lots of speech coaches. There's lots of present presentation coaches. I'm the one who works on speaker choreography. So if you want to include all of the things while you're working on your presentation or your speech and have that be part of your performance to enhance your message, let me know, send me a DM and we'll hop on a call. Other than that, have a fantastic day. Happy June, everybody.